Let's bring this out to Julia Fellow, who's been out at Esterbrook Park and talking with folks all over the county and trying to figure out what taxpayers are saying about this hike. Julia. And Charles, I spoke to taxpayers all over the county moments after it passed the, on the county board about how the sales tax increase is going to work to prevent cutting bus routes, for example, and also maintain county parks like Estabrook behind me. And what I heard back was overwhelmingly groans. We need to get a break of cutting taxes, not a raise in taxes. The people don't fix up times. Just worried about them. I don't think it should have went up. We pay enough taxes now anyways. The hardest pill for many taxpayers to swallow is learning that this will help pay for the county's underfunded pension liabilities to the tune of $760 million. That's not fair, especially somebody who isn't even receiving pension. So it's like, oh, they're paying, we're paying out. Under this agreement, all new county employees will enter into our state's pension system. John Hayes says he's a former mental health professional and is happy about the sales tax increase after learning the money will save county senior centers and mental health facility. The demand for that kind of thing is, is, is high and there's a lot of people waiting, waiting for a therapist, waiting for some kind of service that takes forever. The county board also plans to use the money to help pay for a billion dollars in deferred maintenance to our county buildings, parks and roads. And Rob Henkin has been sounding the alarm about the fiscal cliff the county has been dangling over for decades. He is the president of the impartial Wisconsin Policy Forum. Adding a sales tax by uh, four tenths of a percent is that going to get us out of our fiscal cliff and solve all of our problems? We now, for the first time, do see some hope that county revenues are going to grow at a pace that is roughly going to mirror inflation. And if that happens, then one would expect that county government is going to be in reasonably good fiscal shape. But he warns like anyone on a budget, there's no crystal ball on unforeseen costs our county could face in the future. And the earliest that your Milwaukee County sales tax can go up is on January 1st. Charles, back to you. All right, Julia, thanks. Really uh, a remarkable day here. When you think about it, this sales tax has gone three for three, winning at the state, winning at the city, and now winning here at the county. So what falls under that sales tax, here's what we know. Those include things like groceries, medicine and medical supplies, gas and a handful of other items. Things like soda and sugary drinks, restaurants and clothing are still under that sales tax. Head to TMJ4.com or our streaming platforms for expanded coverage on this developing story and how the sales tax increase will impact our economy. Uh, coming up at six, I'll talk with the chairwoman Nicholson about specifics on where some of this money will go. But for now, reporting live outside the Milwaukee County Courthouse, Charles Benson, TMJ4 News. Charles, thank you very much.